Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to learn about registers. Here are the three basic types of the registers. Data registers, address registers and status register. So first of all, data registers AX stands for accumulator register, BX for base register, CX for count register and DX for data register. Address register further divided into three parts over three types that are pointer register, index register and segment registers. 32-bit data registers are called extended accumulator registers. So 16 bits data registers here are the 16 bit data registers are AX, BX, CX, DX, but EAX are 32 bits data registers. AX is further divided into two parts that are AH plus AL, 8 bits data registers. So here are the data registers AX, BX, CX, DX. And these are the address register SP, BP, IP, SI, DI, CS, DS, SS, ES and here are the flags. So extended register is 32 bit AX register is equal to 16 bits AH plus AL 8 bits in H. So here is the representation of extended accumulator register. So starting from 0 to 31. So first part from 0 to 7 bits is equal to 8 bits. So this part is one of AH plus AL 8 bits part and here is the 16 bits so first of all, what are the data registers? So data registers, these registers are used to store data being transferred to and from the immediate access memory, uh, which is like cache memory over RAM. So address registers are used to store memory address from which data will be fetched to the CPU over the address to which data will be sent and the status register it is used to store the state of the program or state of the processor so first of all we are going to learn about data registers or general purpose registers we are here ax accumulator register ax is preferred register to use in arithmetic logic and data transfer instructions because it is used generates short test machine code so it is very fast register in multiplication or division operations or instructions one of the numbers must be in ax or al so the main use of this register is for input output operations are so requires the use of AX or AL. So AX used for input and output operations. And the second one is BX base register. There is no specific use of base register. BX also serves as address register hold address of data so it's hold the address of the data so here our important point is using for address so cx counter register or count register is used in loops cx register in used in loops so the main purpose of cs is here and then dx 
data register holds data for output so the main purpose of this register is output so dx register is used in multiplication or division operation it also used in input also we can use it input but this is mainly used for output operations we can store data into this register for the output purpose so here are our data registers and now we are going to move segment registers these are the address registers so a memory segment is a block of 64 KB memory over 2 raised to power 16 consecutive bytes so first of all code segment register so code segment register hold address of code segment so it holds the address of the code segment is that part of memory where actual code of a program is stored in the RAM the address of code segment is held by the code segment register so data segment register holds the address of the data segment so data segment is that part of memory where all variables so you know that variables are the memory locations in the RAM of program declared data segment register stores the address of the data segments and here SSS stack segment register stack segment register is that part of memory where the stack of program declared and stack segment register store the address of the stack segment so if this register is full then we can use ES extra segment register so extra segment register is used whenever the SS over DS over CSS is full so CS it is that segment of memory which can be used by many other segments when it is required particularly used by any specific segment so these are the very simple types of segment registers and now we are going toward index registers so index register there are two types of index registers these both registers are used in string instructions just like copy string comparison so source index register will hold the address of source string in string instructions like we can add dl2 over 3 so 3 is the source and dl is the destination so di will store the address of dl and si will store the address of 3 so source index register will hold the address of source string in string instructions destination is index register will hold the address of destination string in string instructions so now last registers pointer registers sp stack pointer register will hold the string address of stack so sp will indicate the current writing stack the current position where we want to write or where we can write base pointer register of stack where data will be written so that is the difference between SP and BP and instruction pointer register which is very easy will hold the address of the instruction to be executed by EU unit of the CPU EU stands for execution unit so this is the basic introduction of the registers we will implement all the registers or will use all the registers in our assembly programs so thank you for watching this video